meetings, more meetings, more meetings, and more and more meetings. If you're depressed, I know how you feel. One of the nightmares, one of the nightmares of exercising leadership and running organizations and institutions is the fact that you need to have meetings. You have to have meetings. That's where most of your time is done. And in some cases, it could be a horrible experience because, you know, from one meeting to another, one meeting to another. And so because they are such an important part of the job that you do, of the role that you exercise when you're exercising leadership, it's very important really to master this important part of your daily life. Because it's at the heart of communication. You need to have meetings. Sometimes, you know, mass communication, sometimes very focused groups of people sitting in a room and talking about stuff. So I'll share with you a few ideas on, on, on how do you have the most effective and productive meeting. Just a few ideas. And I'll begin with a, with, with a fiasco meeting that I had. In a certain situation, I was the chairman of an organization. And I had been reading at that time a lot about innovation, a lot about giving people space to be creative and innovative, you know, and the importance of creating a free atmosphere so that people are not confined, so that people can go with their thinking. And then it takes a lot of mess until a great, great idea comes out. You know, the whole uh, process that involves that involved is involved with uh, innovation and the creativity. So I said, let me experiment that. So we had this meeting. Guess what? It took seven hours, absolute torture. And I could feel it on the face of people in the room. You know, people flew from all over the world and we were sitting there. And I said to myself, Michael, you know, let's let's make it a creative and innovative session. So let me not let me just let it let it go, let it flow naturally without boundaries. Seven hours. Never again. Never again. Maybe because it was the wrong perspective for that meeting. Maybe sessions for innovation have to be you know specific and different in a different context. Point is meetings are about time and they are about very important tasks and mission because in meetings you develop ideas and make decisions and involve people and sometimes the time of important people so it's really expensive to have meetings right imagine 10 15 people who are really senior positions and they have huge salaries and you're taking all this time from them you know from them to put them in a room it's, if you make the accounting it's seriously expensive thing so how do you run meeting <laughs> Number one, have a very clear purpose for the meeting. And what I taught myself is at the beginning of every meeting, I would start my opening statement is the purpose of this meeting is the following. And the message was, please make sure that everything that we talk about is focused on this purpose. Now, there are a million other subjects that are also important, but the purpose of this meeting is this subject. So we have absolute clarity on why we're meeting. More than half of communication is about listening. More than half. And listening is about paying attention. So don't spend the meeting talking, especially if you are chairing the meeting. Now, if you sit on a grand chair, you know, at the head of the table, your ego is, you know, you feel power and there's all these ego things. So there are forces within you is, you know, is up that, that would encourage you to keep talking and dominating the conversation. It is not about you. It's not about how smart you are. This is not a torture place where you have people sitting in the room just because you have authority so that you can, you know, explain, uh, talk, elaborate endlessly about your ideas. It's not about that. It's about fulfilling the purpose in the most effective and efficient way. So listen, 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 listen. When you have to interrupt, interrupt. Because sometimes people have the tendency of repeating themselves. I used to do that many times and maybe I'm doing it now. So when people repeat themselves, interrupt because people get it. And people repeat themselves for a natural reason because they're really, when they're talking, they're formulating their thinking. So they keep talking about the same idea many times so that they can move to the second idea and the third idea. So it's part of the thinking process, but that takes time. 
So help people. How by focusing them on the subject? So when they, you feel that they are repeating themselves or going left and right, interrupt strategically. Of course, you can always do it politely, and there are techniques of doing that. But master the art of interruption. If people say it's impolite to interrupt, in general, that's the case. In a meeting, there is a purpose. This is not a social gathering, right? So it has to be productivity is the is the main thing. So interrupt. <laughs>